Hello students. Today we would discuss a very interesting case study which was part of CBSE board exam this year. Do you know a golf ball is spherical with about 300 to 500 dimples that help increase its velocity while in play? Our case study is based on a golf ball. It goes like this. If a golf ball has diameter 4.2 cm and the surface has 315 dimples of radius 2 mm, find the surface area of one such dimple, then find the volume of the material dug out to make one such dimple, then find the total surface area exposed to the surroundings and lastly find the volume of the golf ball. Let's see the solution now. We have radius of the golf ball equal to 2.1 cm. Let's call it R1. Number of dimples are 315 and they are hemispherical in shape. Radius of each dimple is 2 mm which is 0.2 cm. Let us call it R2. Surface area of one such dimple would be the surface area of a hemisphere with radius 2 mm which is 2 pi R2 square which gives us 2 into 3.14 into 0.2 into 0.2, which is 0.2512 cm square. Quite simple, right? Let's go to the next part now. Now, volume of the material dug out to make one dimple, it would be volume of the hemisphere, which is 2 by 3 pi r2 cube. Now, substituting given values, we get volume equal to 0 0.0167 cm cube. Pretty simple till now, right? Now pay attention to the third part, which is to find the total surface area exposed to the surroundings. Let's first understand what we need to find here. The total surface area exposed would be surface area of the ball plus surface area of all the dimples minus surface area of the dugout parts of all the dimples together. I'll repeat, surface area of the ball plus surface area of all the dimples minus surface area of the parts that have been dug out. Clear? Let's calculate now. 4 pi r1 squared plus 315 into 2 pi r2 squared minus 315 into pi r2 squared, which gives us around 95 centimeter square. Moving on to the final part of the question. Find the volume of the golf ball and it would be volume of the ball minus volume of the dugout part. So 4 by 3 pi r cube minus 315 into 2 by 3 pi r2 cube which gives us 14.11 centimeter cube. I'll repeat 4 by 3 pi r1 cube minus 315 into 2 by 3 pi r2 cube. So 14.11 centimeter cube. Thank you. Have a lovely day.